And then there goes the victory on the bottom, exiting the pits with a fresh set of immediate compounds. Oh, oh, wait, I see. But two of us have been pretty good as well. Who will come out and be a team? Oh, I think it's going to be a tight fight, Dwayne. Here he goes, Kid Lad and Victor are right here, side by side. This is all racing. They're racing each other in the room. And oh, no! My name is Kedlan Matulin. I'd call myself a racer, but life has its way of changing who we are. All of this started years ago, in a year when I was once but a naive soul. 2019. The Melbourne Park International Raceway, as it was called before, has always been the center of Grand Prix and races for the Robloxians of iron racing. Passionate drivers, men and women alike, would often challenge their friends and families to weekly races throughout the circuit. It has been this way for a while, until an official racing league was formed in the summer of that year. One quiet morning, I noticed a group of Lobloxians gazing upon a poster on the wall that seemed to announce the creation of a so-called Iron World Championship. Voices of interest and pique came from the crowd, apparently talking about drivers who may be part of the league. Minor 76 has got to race for the championship. He's a solid racer, that. I think SK Seeker will put up a decent fight against the others. He's always beaten me. Guys, guys, aren't you forgetting? Brodick BW has won every local race here. Oh, dang. You're right. We call her the Blue Wallaby for a reason, innit? As the crowd began to disperse, I ventured forth and read the poster in further detail. Super Swift, Lightning Fast, join the Iron World Championship today and claim your place as one of the fastest drivers in all of the metaverse. Teams are recruiting for potential drivers. For more details, visit Rex Speed at the Melbourne Park International Raceway, the poster said. My eyes broadened with excitement. This is my chance. I hope I have what it takes. Eager to join up for a team, I went straight to the HQ. Upon arriving there, goodness, I was amazed, but not necessarily surprised, at the sight I saw. After all, it wasn't my first time visiting the raceway. Melbourne Park was known for its lush green surroundings, grassy landscapes, and earthy appeal. It was riddled with eucalyptus trees that gave off a beautiful natural scent. And yes, it was also a racetrack. An iconic racetrack. I walked into the headquarters which was just beyond the circuit spit lane. The headquarters was also a fantastic sight. It was quite enormous and elegant and boasted of a modernized take on architecture. It was painted frost white, erected with fiberglass windows, and had two gargantuan golden dice statues on top of its main building. The HQ was like a long paper cutter from above, I tell you. It spanned from one side of the track to another. Below the spanning bridge was a green banner that bore the hashtag Now You Can. I then proceeded to the HQ's entrance and witnessed a noisy cascade of Robloxians anxious to sign up for the Iron World Championship. From the distance, an android with a grey hoodie, a Tommy Hilfiger pair of jeans, and a neon set of eyes took out its megaphone and activated it, effectively silencing the crowd. The android used it to make a speech. May I have your attention please? Yes. You have all seen the posters throughout town and must be excited to sign up for the Iron World Championship. I have to say I am as excited as you are to begin this season. First off, my name is Rex Speed and I am the founder of this racing league. You might be familiar with our sister coalition, the Iron Racing League, which also just started recently. The Iron World Championship is different. Hey, he's a slow talker. I tell you that. Man, just be quiet. Rex Speed, apparently a male android, paused for a moment, gazed into the crowd, eyed a certain young woman from afar, and then continued. 
Drivers of this league are known to be the best of the best throughout the metaverse. Or well, that's what we aim to achieve. Tonight, we shall select 18 talented Robloxians to drive for 9 of IWC's Pioneer Formula Pro teams. Linguini, Zeko, Burla Burla, Eston Quinn, Brandstar, Eldi, is Spirit, BMW, and Valor. Hey, uh, I hear the Valor is a fan favorite. I actually think the Blue Wallaby would drive for them. Those lucky 18 shall be decided by the top 18 runners of tonight's mega event here in the Melbourne Park International Raceway. The Melbourne Park Invitational, a 37 lap race. Afterwards, they shall be segregated to our lovely teams. In front of me is this lovely terminal where the interested shall register for the race. Now, my fellow racers, let the sign-ups begin. One by one, the Robloxians lined up to type their names in the terminal. As I proceeded to line up as well, an intrigued Robloxian approached me, almost as if he recognized me. Hey, I think we've met. You're the driver who won last week's iron karting event, huh? Yeah, impressive beat me to P1. Oh yes, I suppose that is me. Ah, pleasure to meet you. I'm Victor Alan. But you can call me Pick. Uh, what's your name again? Kidlat. Kidlat Matulin. Nice to see you again as well. I replied. Victor Allen was slightly tanner than me, had spiky black hair, and a scar near his left eye. Oh, how many karting races have you won here? Uh, last week was my first actually. I haven't really won much, I said in return. Bro, Vic was utterly surprised. For a second, he paused with a shocked look on his face and immediately switched it to a slight chuckle. <laughs> Paano yun say that, no? <laughs> a one-time karting winner, yet here you are, registering to race for the highest league in all of the metaverse. Alam mo, I've won 7 GT3 races and 10 karting events in only the last year, kaibigan! Vic added with an arrogant smirk. So, I smiled back in return. Well, I wish you the best, Matulin. Can't wait to get to the podium after tonight's race, ah? I'll make sure to ano, spray you some of those rose water when I do. <laughs> Sharing is caring, di ba? <laughs> Vic said as he positioned himself behind me. My goodness, that moment made me start finding that man annoying as heck. Trying hard not to give in, I simply maintained my composure and waited until my turn to register. It didn't take more than 30 minutes for every aspiring racing driver inside the HQ to finish registering for the event. After a while, Rex Speed stood up on the stage and brought out his megaphone once more. The terminal here has 47 registrants. I am impressed. Well, only 18 of you will make it in tonight. So, I wish you all the best of luck. Perfect. It is time. To all of those who signed up, Please proceed to the pit lane. For this race, all Formula Pro cars have been set to have the same chassis. Nobody shall have a speed advantage here, so everything will be based on your skill. Of course, feel free to choose any livery you wish as you hit the spotter. It wouldn't matter. By the way, the Blue Wallaby herself, the Relique BW, has registered for this race. Melbourne's very own. All the best, Veronique. Rex Speed said as he gave Veronique a bright look. She smiled formally in return. All of us registrants then proceeded to the pit lane, where each spawned a car of their choosing. Meanwhile, I heard someone running towards me and... Oh! I'm driving a baller! <laughs> Catch my dust, Matolin! Man, my face turned blue. I was feeling pressure. What if Victor Allen was right? What if I wasn't worth driving for this league? 
After all, I just won one karting race. I will surely be last. The moment I turned my attention to the car spawn and went to garages, a soft pat in the back startled me. Sorry for bothering you. You must be maturing. I saw that tough nut Victor Allen's your number on you. Don't mind him. He's all talk. Trust me. It was Veronique. The driver people had been talking about. For a moment, I felt enlightened. The name's Fernie. People call me the Blue Wallaby. Probably cause I keep jumping my competition by a margin. Best of luck out there, Matulin. Prove him wrong. It's... Matulin. <sighs> Thanks, I guess. PNW. Not bad. I got this. I spawned in a blue and white car, apparently manufactured by a team known as PNW. Finally, all 47 drivers threaded themselves on the grid. There were simply so many drivers that the last car, mine, reached the farthest end of the long straight. I could barely see the lights. Through the public speakers, we drivers could hear two commentators, definitely excited for this race. All right, right I'm racing. racing. This is the Melbourne Park Invitational, a 37-lap race to determine the 18 pioneers who will drive for the Iron World Championship. I am RC Hughes, one half of IWC's Formula Pro Shoutcasters. Joining me is 27. That's right, RC. I am excited indeed for this race. Let's see what we have in store. Here come the lights. Hundreds of Robloxians filled the grandstands of the raceway. It was packed with eager eyes and ears. One by one, the lights started to flash. One light, two lights, three lights, four lights, five lights. You can do this, Get out Better luck out there, Matsuman. Prove him wrong. I wish you the best, my I got this. I opened my eyes. The race had already started. And the race is underway here in Melbourne Park International Raceway. Dang. I had a terrible start. Verding BW is on the lead, defending that P1 spot against Niner 76 in the Spirit. As anticipated, the Blue Wallaby was already ahead of everyone else. Meanwhile, I was merely 10 seconds behind the car in 46th place. And damn it! With stoic rage, I revved up my pace even more and began catching up to the cars ahead. The race was a glorious sight so far. 47 cars filled up the track, led by the Blue Wallaby, who was now 15 seconds ahead of 9 or 69 in second place. In my eyes, the clock ticked faster than I could ever imagine. For a second, it was just lap 2. At the blink of an eye, it was already lap 27, so on and so forth. I didn't even realize I had finished my first pit stop of the race. I was flying, I guess. From being 10 seconds behind of P46, I was now charging my way through the bottom field at P32. Look, RC! That P and W driven by Elke Tantorin is flying! He was actually the last one to stop the race, and I was fighting for P31. What a top of events! One by one, I began my charge. P29, P26, P19. Eventually, I was in contention for P18, the last position to make it to the Iron World Championship. However, it wasn't going to be an easy task for me. For P18 was currently held by the one and the only Victor Allen, who just finished his second pit stop. And there, and there goes Victor Allen and the Valor, exiting the pits with a fresh set of medium compounds. Oh, 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 wait! I think it's gonna be a tight fight when here goes Kidlan and Victor are right here side by side. This is all racing. No one's in each other. And oh no! The two shoutcasters screamed as a third driver in P17 turned in on my car, effectively removing its front wing. Luckily for Victor Allen, who wasn't left of our cars, he got away safely. That maniac. No, oh, no, 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 no! Dang it! My damn front wing! I was this close. This damn close. 
I was already moving up the pack for the past 27 laps and was close to securing a drive if it weren't for that shunt. With no front wing, pitting for repairs after lap 28 became imperative for me if I wanted to fight for a spot. With resilience, I pushed my damaged car forward, giving away place after place until I fell back at P24. I entered the pits right away, got myself a new front wing and soft tires. With just 9 laps remaining, I pushed hard, real hard. I had to overtake 6 more drivers to reach P18. Lap after lap, I managed to regain positions until lap 35, where I was stuck by merely a car's length behind the same driver who knocked my wing off. Oh, oh, and, and we're, we're now, now at the last, last lap, lap of the Melbourne, Melbourne Park, Park Invitational. Veronique BW is still in the lead of the, of the race, race, a lap, lap ahead, ahead of everybody, everybody else. else. That, that is astonishing, Dwayne. Indeed, RC. Let's take a look at the middle field. There's a intense fight going on for P18. The last spot for an on-world championship roster. Let's get it up with it and let's go 69. Just separated. Get this. By nearly a car's length. How crazy is that? The battle for P18 was intense. Almost as dramatic as a world title fight. Through every corner, I fancied an overtake against Let's Go 69, but he would simply defend harshly. I tried to sneak up on the inside of the opposition on one of the hard breaking zones, but only managed to hold on to P18 for a split second. Let's Go 69 took the lead once more. She's a sensation here in Melbourne. She's always jumped on for rivals. The blue lobby crossed the line. Meanwhile, the battle for P18 was still going on. We fought hard all the way until the penultimate corner of our lap, where Let's Go 69 slightly chugged his car and gave me room to be side by side with the driver. All the way to the final straight, I made use of my DRS, drag reduction system, to open my rear wing for more speed, activated the last of my ERS, energy recovery system, for more power, and managed to position my car directly east of Let's Go 69 to finally do that integral overtake until Let's Go 69 takes the final spot for the Iron World Championship in 2018. Ah, unfortunate for kicking that to women. Who just missed out on the final spot by just four hundredths of a second. And that, that everyone is the Miller Park Invitational. Hearing those words from the commentator hurt me real bad. Worse, I had to endure a hectic 37 lap race with unkind perils of pit stops, bumps, and g forces. All of my efforts were shot to the moon, for I missed out on this grand opportunity. I watched with reluctance as the podium setters celebrated and the Melbourne crowd roared with glee watching their young heroine win in front of her hometown. Victor Allen spotted me down at paddock and did exactly as he promised before the race. <laughs> he sprayed rose water down on me, that foolish dolt. However, almost immediately, Rex Speed stopped the celebrations to make an urgent announcement. My fellow Robloxians, what a race indeed. However, I am afraid some penalties have to be put in check. Unfortunately for Mr. Victor Allen, after three causes of collision you deliberately thought we didn't see, you have been awarded with a 30 second time penalty. This drops you down to P17. Niner 76 is promoted to the podium. My annoyance suddenly shifted to that of a cheer. Upon realizing I wasn't still going to make it, I frowned once more and just decided to leave. But there is also one thing we'd have to remark. Earlier at lap 27, there had been a collision between Let's Go 69 and Kidnight underscore Batunin. Because of Let's Go 69's actions, I'm afraid he's been given a 10 second 
time penalty. This means Kidnap underscore Matuli moves up to PAT. I jumped with happiness, bro. Only that I didn't cheer much as I noticed Let's Go 69 shift from joy to pain. The young driver caught my eye, gave me an angered look, and left the raceway. And thus, it is my honor to announce all 18 drivers who will compete for the Iron World Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, our first driver, of course, is the one and the only, Veronique BW. She is then drafted to Velo Racing along with SK underscore Seeker. Here is your first team, ladies and gentlemen. He then called the names of the drivers down the order and announced the teams they would be driving for. Brandstar was brought out, then a spirit. Afterwards came Aldi, Aston Quinn, Berla Berla, Linguini, Zeko, and finally PNW. Lastly, we have BNW, a promising team as well. Your drivers for this final team are the last two players, Victor Allen and Kidnap underscore Matur. Man, I nearly shed my eyes. Well, Victor Allen simply felt more resentment. You should have seen the look on his face. He approached me with a bulwark stature of invisible fire glowing from his eyes. Ah, uh, so, luck has always been by your side, ah, huh? Bot Prague. Just you wait, ah, huh? because you will regret this. Victor said as he nudged my chest with his right shoulder. That made me sigh for a bit, but heck, I got in, and that's what matters. A keen-eyed Robloxin approached me, wearing the colors of PNW. Hey, congratulations on the drive, his name is Tony. I'm Trevor Rama, CEO of PNW Racing. Glad to have you on board with us. You and Victor Allen have the same fiery passion as we see. Thank you very much. Uh, this means the world to me, Mr. Rama. Let's do this. I have faith in you, kid. Oh, and please come, Fred. Ayo hey, GG3, thank you very much for watching Ionized, a Roblox Metaverse story. This really means the world to all of us in the team. I've been working on this project since September last year, 2021. And I want to thank my buddies, Kate and Rovic, for helping me voice the characters in this animatic. Now for future installments, perhaps episode 2 and beyond. We'll see if that, that's going to happen in the future. But I really appreciate the support you guys have been giving to us, the GG3. It means the world. I'll see you guys soon. And always remember, we're in a loose good game. GG3. Hola. Let's go! Three. The game changer rearrange your strategies. Two. The same old way we'll see you change the strategy. One. Step up, four, you're done, my son. Let Two. it rip. Come up quick, it's begun. Three, two, it's one. It's about the destination or the journey you're finding. When you top that hill, there's still a mountain behind it. All the time, the stage around you is changing. So isn't it your business not to just maintain, but change within it? No limits but the ones you place upon yourself. These trophies on your shelf made 